Hello and welcome to another video from Alberta Bushcrafter. My name is Dean. Today we've got another unboxing and this is a spectacular one because this is actually a product I just found about I found out about on a review about two to three weeks ago on the Mountain Equipment Co-op site when I was looking at replacement cartridges for my Sweetwater, well MSR Sweetwater uh, water filter. Someone actually said well, why don't you carry this line of products? They make all these other ones obsolete. So I just had to look around and find one. And then payday came, so I, uh, I picked one up. Uh, this is an amazing product. You guys have already seen my video on the MSR Sweetwater uh, Guardian filter. Well, it's, it's now the Sweetwater, whatever they call it now. It's, it's a marvelous little filter. Uh, most filters are. But uh, let's see. One of the things is, of course, you pay 80 to 100 bucks for the filter, and you know you still got to pay 30 to 40 bucks for the cartridges, and that gets that can add up after a while. Plus, you've got to clean them. So somebody came up with a filter that doesn't require new cartridges. It's totally back flushable. So this is the unboxing, and here we go. I I'm actually quite excited. You notice. I've even got some water over here to test. So one of the things this company does not ship to Canada. I know they sell it. You can get this product at Bass Pro. You can also get it right from the manufacturer. The manufacturer, by the way, is Sawyer. You've heard me mention their name. So this one, I had to go. I actually had an order that was canceled. I had to cancel it through uh, Bass Pro again because Bass Pro even though they have stores in Canada they do not ship to Canada they ship from Springfield Missouri and you may have heard my last unboxing there are serious issues I have with Canada Post and Customs and so on so without further ado however this is going to be fun I give you the Sawyer 4 liter water treatment system. This is the complete water treatment system. Now you can get gravity flow systems. Yeah, I almost want to pause and read all these directions and so on. There's actually a lot of uh, good advice here. Apparently you can even add flavored drink mix in the dirty water vessel, according to this, and then uh, it, it'll clean it and it'll still taste like whatever you put in. Anyways, this is the Sawyer 4 liter complete water treatment system. Now I will warn you, there is a, this is about $130 on Amazon.ca. The shipping, by the way, if it ships through Amazon.ca, shipping is incredible. This actually was ordered on a Wednesday and it turned out it was in my mailbox on Friday morning I actually picked it up it's now a Tuesday I picked it up this evening so the kit is a gravity feed system you can get a camp filter from Catadyne it's just basically a big bag and you pour water in and there's a cartridge underneath and you just hang it and let gravity do the work that is so much easier by the way when you're well parked when you're stopped it is so much easier just to pour it in a bag and let gravity do the work. I know the filters are fun and it's fun to pump them, but after a while you will get tired of it. I have. Um, MSR makes one, but 135 bucks. It's a gravity flow system. Platypus makes one. C uh, Catadyne, as I mentioned, makes one. There's also they make big ones. They make ones that are five gallon buckets. That you pour in. There will be another video on that because there's another product I'm ordering. Since this, since this one showed up so nicely, there's another product I'm ordering uh, that we'll do another video on that is even more offensive, uh, more interesting. But here we go. We're going to open this up. One of the things about most water filters is they'll say a, they're a 0.2 micron just a filter or whatever. Now that will stop most bacteria. However, it won't stop viruses. Now, 
one of the big things is that is 0.2 micron. It doesn't say if it's absolute or not. Let the train go by. Nah. I'm, I'm used to it. You guys get used to the train as well. Now here's the thing. There's another standard, which is the absolute standard. So filter says it's 0.2 microns. It says, that means it will stop particles that are 0.2 microns or larger. Not necessarily all the time. It just means it stopped them. Now, if you find a 0.2 micron absolute rating on a filter, that means absolutely everything that is 0.2 microns or larger will get stopped. And that is a much more meaningful value. Now, this one is a 0.1 micron filter. It actually stops particles half the size of the other filters. A bit at the end of it that I'm going to go into as well that's even more amazing. So this, oh this is a clip for hanging around a tree. This is it. There's not much to it. hardly anything to it. Lifetime warranty for one. The one thing I like about Sawyer filters that I've been researching is they have a one million gallon warranty on them. That means these filters will filter, is it guaranteed, one million gallons of water, which is uh, pretty amazing. This is the filter. This is actually the same type of filter that you will find uh, in other Sawyer products. They have one that fits on a water bottle. They have another one. Uh, here's the three-in-one system. It will actually fit to an existing hydration system. You can also fit it to a tap. You can also fit it, interestingly enough, you can actually fit it. Fit it. Some of them come with a drill bit and a bucket adapter. If you've ever seen um, Lonnie at Far North Bushcraft and Survival, and he just changed his name recently, he actually built a filter out of a couple five gallon buckets, several filter candle, candle units, and a spigot. And that's what he uses at his cabin. Those are great. I've actually got one. I was working on one until I heard about the bucket adapter for these things, because this is actually better than those filtration systems. The punchline there is, this is their coarse filter. This is our 0.1 micron filter. There is another series of products called the 0.02. And those are not just water filters, they're purifiers. They will stop viruses. The only thing they won't stop likely is chemical contamination, so you can maybe put a carbon post filter on that. Anyways, here we go. Let's open this up and we'll take a break and we'll put it together. This is a four liter system. The blue bag, this is your clean water bag. So there actually is, looks like there's a, yeah, there's a tap, which is nice. I like this better than a spigot. And this will be your inflow hose. Four liters is pretty decent. So you could hang this on a tree, hold your one liter clean canteen or uh, Nalgene bottle underneath and let it rip. This, ooh, look at that. This is the dirty water bag. Actually sits right side up here. So there's an attachment here. Gray for dirty. And there's actually a flow controller here. It's just a, a pinch valve. It's kind of interesting. Oh, and if you look at this, this is interesting. Something I did not know is this comes with what looks like a faucet adapter. If you're like me and you live in a rural area, I actually get my water off a well. Pretty clean, but there are sometimes in spring, especially with runoff, that water comes out cloudy as heck. So this will be very handy. Just hook this on my, uh, hook this on my faucet and away I go. I actually had a problem this spring where I had to bring out the MSR filter and pump several dozen liters of water 
because the water I had for three or four days was absolutely scary. And again, that is what you get with a well. I do have a filter system on the house, but sometimes they get full. So this is neat. We'll put this aside. Um, right. Of course I am going to read the directions. So we'll be back in a moment. Okay, we're back. This is very interesting because now it's just started to rain. This is what the evenings have been like in August in northern Alberta for 2014. Uh, not a lot of rain, but just lately it's either been very sunny or just cloudy days and weird. Anyways, it's amazing what you learn when you read directions. This blue tube actually fits. A little fitting in there. It's press fit only. But this is the drink tube if you want to turn this into a hydration bag. You will remove the filter first, by the way. I'm not going to use that right now. And this, while you could adapt it for filtering tap water, this is actually used as well for back flushing the filter. Now that's important. That's how these get the million gallon guarantee. Is you actually attach this or uh, the other hose. To this you put it on your tap, you turn it on full force and it'll actually come out, the water will come out the gray water end so you're reversing the flow and it will be cloudy. You basically flush it till it runs clear. If you want to back flush it in, in the in the field, what you would do is you'd actually just lean on this. You'd fill it up a bit and you can roll it or lean it until at least 500 mils will come out the other end. Now, that's a little bit, I'll show you how this goes together. This is, it's a very sturdy bag by the way. This is why the clip's on this part. So, it does say you have to elevate it three feet above this bag so we'll do a bit of a setup there in a minute but basically what you do is you hang this and you want to actually open the valve a bit until you get some water through and that the tube is full then all you do clip it in here It does come with this strap for an S beaner. Well, I am just going to, uh, yeah, be sure to open the valve. I'm just going to open the valve and let it rip. All right, now you see the top bag, the dirty water bag. It's hooked up to a tree. I'm using their attached strap. And we'll pan down. And there is the bottom one. And actually what's interesting is, I don't want to hang it up on this tree too much because there's some spruce gum on it, but what's interesting is that bottom bag is full. In the two and a half minutes it took me to set this up, it's pretty well done. There's maybe, oh, I'd say 100, 200 mils in the top bag. It's practically empty and it was kind of almost bulging. So there's our bottom one. This is ready to start filling stuff. Incidentally, I wanted to quickly show something. You guys know one of my first videos was those paracord gear ties. This is an excellent use for them. I just sort of ran this one together really quick, but the gear ties are actually really good for holding things to trees. So I'm going to zoom out a bit here. Out, I said. So there's one. And there's the other. So like I said, marvelous use for the paracord gear tie. Okay, so we're done. And so when you're finished, what you can do is you close off the valve, like so. 
you release the hose, there's your dirty water bag. Actually, you want to take this just to be safe. I'm going to take it out of both fittings and then let it drain a bit. Now, you could dip this over the side of the canoe or take it back to the lake or whatever. Fill it again while you're using this one to fill. Oh, hang on. Yeah, this one will fill your water bottles. I'm going to get around this and get two hands on it. Normally this would be hanging on the tree. There you go. Dripping a little bit, that's because this cap was not 100% fastened. Uh, the other thing is make sure when you're manhandling the clean water bag, it's a good idea to remove the filter. Let's take a look. We've got a little bit of a leak here. Yeah. So this is actually coming from down here. No, oh, no wonder. We had a slightly misplaced but un undamaged O-ring. Now the other thing is, I gotta do something here. I gotta do some boil tests anyways. So I may as well go like so. You don't wanna wait for the tap, you just take the tap unit off. And there you go. Actually, four liters is almost too much. So I'm gonna have me a couple drinks of water here. This is that little Stanley cook set I uh, unboxed on a previous video. Cut too much water here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That actually tastes really good. So this is actually very nice water. It's not purified by any means, so if you're in an area where there are viruses, you might want to drop the $220 and get the 4 liter purifier system. But that is really good. That's clean water. So here we go. One last look. This is the Sawyer 4 liter complete water filtration system and it's nice it's while it's doing the work filtering the water you could be doing something else you be collecting firewood relaxing doing whatever you like and you can fill this several times and just leave it and this is great it says it's a one or two person unit but this would be great if you've got a little more time this would be fantastic for large groups as well all right so that's it that's the unboxing i am uh, I'm very happy right now, kind of excited. This is neat. It also weighs about 340 grams. So, less than, uh, just a little over half a pound. So you can pack this away in a stuff sack and away you go. This is, this is it. This is all you really need. Okay. So this is, if I had a gear of the year award, this might win it. I might just do that. But, yeah. Uh, Thanks for watching, and my name is Dean. Thanks for watching the Alberta Bushcrafter channel. Take care, and good day.
me long enough to get this thing, it better darn well work. <laughs>